viewers this is just fake network tv a home of accurate news and current news for those who subscribe to our channel god bless you for subscribing we say thank you to every one of you and if you're yet to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and all the news in details south africans tell nigerians other foreigners to leave towns in latest xenophobic violence the attack on foreign national began on wednesday evening but was curtailed by the police However, there was a renewed attack on properties and protest action on Thursday, with local demanding that all foreigners leave the community. Xenophobic attacks in South Africa two weeks after South Africans in Cameroon and opulent areas of Northern Cape vowed to eject Nigerians and other foreigners from their communities. Locals in Deep Sloot area of Johannesburg have begun to attack foreign nationals in the area. The attack on foreign nationals began on Wednesday evening but was curtailed by the police. However, there was a renewed attack on properties and protest action on Thursday with local demanding that all foreigners leave the community. President Nigeria Union South Africa Adetola Olubajo confirmed the attack in a statement sent to Sahara reporters. He added, he added that locals were not ready to back down on attack on foreigners. He said angry residents started burning tires and chanting that foreigners must leave the area. Police intervention brought calm, but the violence erupted against this money. The community members want undocumented foreigners to leave the area. They accused foreign nationals of criminal activities and killing of a senior police officer. Though there is every police presence in the area, the local residents are not backing down in their demands. He added that the area was still tensed and not safe for foreign nationals, advising Nigerians to stay away from the area until it was safe. Wow! This is a very serious one because I was thinking that this same xenophobic attack has already stopped. And now, what is wrong in the South Africa? What is going on? That we keep on hearing um, and violence, everything, others attack, and so on. Why? And now they are shouting that Nigeria should just leave their place. You know, and at the South, I, f I feel that the South African government is already aware of what is going on on this country called Nigeria. That is why they are misbehaving and killing our citizens over there. And nothing will still happen to them. Because I feel that the truth is, bet is, is better said. You know, these people are killing our people everywhere. And what is our Mr. President doing about it? Our President should please intervene. He should please intervene on behalf of our people that are in South Africa right now. People are dying every day. And now look at it. Another thing came up this morning again. Saying that all of Nigeria should leave their place, should leave South Africa. For how long will this continue to happen? For how long, for God's sake? What is going on? What is going on? Our people are not being treated very well. Eh? Our people, they are not being treated very well. And still, and, uh, our government is not doing anything about it. It's just so unfortunate. It's just so unfortunate to keep hearing the same xenophobic attack every blessed time. It's so unfortunate. And a lot of people made a comment already. 
People are tired of all these things that are going on. People, Nigerians are not happy about it. Nigerians are not happy at all. They said if you have a thinking government in place, you people will not be treated like an animal anywhere in the world. And that is just the truth. Just touch just one an American citizens. If you that is the thing. American citizens, Niger Americans don't joke with American citizens at all when it comes to their own side. And that is how it's supposed to be. But Nigerian citizens, they don't have anything. Nigerian government don't have respect for their for Nigerian citizens. The Americans don't joke with their citizens at all. They joke, they don't joke with them. Well, here, our people don't value their own people at all, and that is not good. That's a very bad thing. Every time, every time, every time, we hear this thing, we hear this, that, we hear everything from one place to another. We hear people attacking our own people. And that is not a good thing. And these people said that uh, South African blacks are the second most delusional in the world, just behind the Trump nut on Hapra. Do they really think that expulsion of all fellow Africans from U.S. would suddenly make their economy galloping like the white beast. The reason South Africa's economy is in the is is in the doldrum has less to do with African migrants and more to do with corruption, mismanagement, and incompetence endemic to the ruling elite in Africa. And that's just the truth. It's just so unfortunate to keep hearing. All these things. It's so unfortunate. Look at it now. Why will, why will United States not ban Nigerian? Why would they not look at what they look at what is going on? Headsmen doing their own thing. Banditry, doing their own thing. Boko Haram is there doing their own thing. Ongas is killing Nigerian people everywhere. Unemployment. Everything is happening. Why wouldn't they say that uh, Nigeria is a is a is a corrupt one? Why won't they say that Nigeria is a terrorist country? And even our black fellow people are doing this thing to us. It's just a slap and it's a shame on on Nigerian government right now. So guys, what do you think? What is your own take about this news? Hearing that xenophobic again. In South Africa, and saying that our people should leave South Africa, kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. Your comment is highly appreciated. And for those who subscribe, want to say a big thank you to every one of you for subscribing. We say thank you so much. We love you. We appreciate your comments at all time. I want to say a big thank you for making our channel a success. Thank you so much. God bless you once again. Bye. Thank you.